Now we've managed to insert our icon, but it's not looking great. So the next thing we're gonna look at is how to position icons or pictures so that they actually make sense. Once again, we have our little clock and it's above time span um, for your story. No tab up here. If you actually click on your icon, you can see you get a new tab where you can change what your icon looks like. But will you notice that there's also a little pop-up box that comes next to it? If you hover over that, it says your layout options. Choose how your object interacts with the text around it. So it can be in line with the text. It can be square, tight, through, top and bottom, behind, and in front. Let us at the moment leave it like that and let's pull it down into our text. Can you see it's now got a line on top and a line on the bottom, it does not look brilliant. If we choose square, which is the one I tend to use, it's my preference, pull it across there. Can you see you've got your heading, your paragraph down the side, very neat in a straight line, and um, you're finishing your sentence there. If you click on it again and choose tight, now let's have a look. Can you see that this is really untidy? It doesn't look, it doesn't work great in this example. Click on it again. If you put behind text, actually quite difficult because you can't read it. You can also choose in front of text. Not great for this example. There may be times you'd use it. Look at top and bottom. There's some of the writing and the writing continues at the bottom. I tend to always use um, square. I like the way it makes it look. Can you see here we have our heading. We click on it, we see heading is chosen. We have an icon which we can use graphics format to change. We used our positioning and now our story, I'm not sure why there's this word time here. I think it's supposed to be a subheading. But now our story is looking a whole lot more interesting. So whenever you click on an icon, you will always get this pop-up box to position it. If, you, if for any reason you don't, you, can, you will see in your graphics format, you will see an arrange tab and here will be a position. Drop down and as you hover it over, you can see actually what it's doing. Simple as that to put your illustration in a place that makes sense.